let's see. Who's going to join first? <laughs> What's up for everyone watching this after the fact? My name is International Stacker, and uh, I stack or collect gold and silver. And the reason we call it stacking is because you are piling uh, those metals to the sky. And some, other, some stackers do collect platinum and palladium and other types of metals, but I focus mostly on gold and silver. Um, so I decided to do this AMA, hashtag AMA, which is ask me anything. So everyone in the live chat that's joining now, ask me any question. It could be about gold, silver. It could be about my job. It can be about traveling around the world. It can be any question you are curious about me and what I do, and I'll try to answer it as truthfully as possible. Side note, this video um, I'm exporting now is going to be really fun. It's the top five types of silver I recommend you stack. So if you're new to stacking and you stumbled upon this video, make sure to watch that video. Um, by the time you see this, this one, that one should be coming out within a day or so. So make sure to check that out. Let's see who's in the chat. We got Johnny Kilo, we got Adam, we've got Yi Turg, Brian Silverload, Highlander Stack, and said, hey, we got Juan Ortiz, Brian Jones, Michael M, Cheryl, Silverado, Michael M, D6, Highlander again. Oh my gosh, we got Silverado dropping the 79 pounds. And it's not, he didn't lose 79 pounds. Um, it's 75 British pounds. We got Elwood Silver, Quarantine Stacker. I love your name, Quarantine Stacker. Elwood, again, Johnny, Rockzilla, Cheryl in the house. Okay, so first, let's go here. First question, what's the rarest Morgan I have? Honestly, I don't know. Um, so for those of you who know, I do collect a lot of 90% silver. Um, Morgan's being one of them. And I always try to buy the best deal. And um, so I have probably about 300 Morgans, and I honestly have not searched them all. And I got some of them with you, Highlander Stack, in, in, uh, in uh, Arizona. So I don't know the answer to that. I could have the rarest Morgan out there, or I can just have common ones. Let's see. I think if you're asking me a question, let's put like three question marks um, at the very beginning so it sticks out better to me in chat. Cheryl, Cheryl Boozman is asking me, why am I scamp? So she started calling me scamp, a scamp a lot in my comments on videos. And I'm like, what the heck is a scamp? So I had to Google it. And a scamp is someone who's like funny and mischievous. So Cheryl, I'm not sure why am I scamp, but I don't know, because I like to have fun. So for those of you who are wondering the conversion, it's showing up on my screen here. Donations show up during live stream on your screen. So 0.79 pounds equals 99 cents US dollars. So thank you very much. We've got 30 people on and eight likes. Smash that like button. Let me continue on with answering these questions. Um, Gamal saying, what about gold in Egypt? Egypt is fun. There was a ton of gold. Unfortunately, I didn't buy any gold there. Rock saying, when am I going to inherit your stack? <laughs> Sorry, Rock. <laughs> no, I don't know. Silver Load saying, do I have any CC Morgans? Not that I know about, but I have a bunch of Morgans I have not searched yet. So, I mean, I guess it's possible, but highly unlikely. Johnny's saying, what countries will you go to after the beer flu? That is a great question. Ladies and gentlemen, I was just talking to the CEO of a Mint today. If you remember, I was going to travel here before, but the beer flu jacked up everything. So I, the next country I'm going to is... Poland to visit the Germania Mint. I'm ironing out all the details right now, but I'm going to take you all with me. And maybe, just maybe, will I find Mrs. International Stacker? Let's see. Okay. Uh, what are your thoughts on platinum bullion? Says Brian James. So I'm reading your comments off there. Brian's asking about platinum. Oh, that's weird. Inception. Inception. So he's asking about um, platinum. You know, I don't collect platinum or palladium. Um, I have not done a lot of research on them. The reason I like gold and silver is one, their history, two, their rarity, and their use case. Um, I like silver because it's the highest, best conductor of electricity. I believe it's plat. No, I believe it's palladium, but it could be platinum. But I believe palladium's biggest use case is in catalytic converters. It might be platinum. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
And the fact that we're going to green technologies, and I think in the not distant future, a lot of the cars are gonna be green technology, thus they won't need catalytic converters. I'm kind of worried about a use case for it. So I don't know, I have to look into it more. So don't take my word for it. I'm not sure about platinum and palladium. Um, let's see here. Silver Lowe's saying smash that like button. You guys, when you smash that like button, it helps me beat the YouTube algorithm. I used to never beg for likes, but now YouTube has forced me to, so sorry about that. Silverado, do you buy foreign 90% or American? Have you seen 70s, 50 francs? Okay, Silverado. You guys, Silver La Silverado just asked me if I collect foreign silver. Let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, that was a that was a heavy one. Do I collect foreign silver? Let me show you some of the foreign silver I've picked up lately. What's this? Look at that. So this is some British right there. What I got in here. Oh, this is the that's the Corona one in my last video. And yes, if you watch Silverado, my video in the African market, I literally bought Franks there and it was the sketchiest buying of my life. So make sure to check out that video. I love foreign silver. Believe it or not, in a lot of coin shops, I can get this at spot price. Brian Jones is saying, your thoughts on platinum. Thanks, man. I kind of already just gave that. Um, if you missed it, just rewind a little bit later. Elwood is saying, stacking more gold or silver right now? Silver premiums are so much higher than gold. Elwood, I'm stacking whatever I can get a good deal on. So if I can get silver close to spot or gold close to spot, that's what I'm going for. If you all were, if you remember, if you missed it, I put out a video on this LCS I hit recently, and I got all this foreign silver at spot price. And then I got one gram of gold, like a few dollars over spot. So I went for it. So I let the deals dictate my buying, ladies and gentlemen. I buy the deals. Like this sweet Philippine silver. That thing's almost uncirculated. Spot price. I let the deals dictate my buys. Youper saying, IS, I'm here. Good evening. Good evening, Youper. Dennis is saying, what about Britannia's? Yes, I collect Britannia's. I collect Britannia's, a silver maple's. A bunch of Perth Mint stuff, a Korean stuff, U.S. stuff. I will buy either one, whatever the best deal is, or two, if I see opportunities to flip. Like, if you guys remember, if you got the black flag, put the number one in chat right now. If you got the Queen Anne's Revenge black flag, if you got it and it was based off my alert, press two. I want to know if you bought it based off of my feedback. We got into those guys when I alerted you for $25 a coin, and now they're going for anywhere from $50 to $100. Come on. Let's flip. So, yes, I do get Britannia's. I have quite a bit. Quarantine Stacker. Do you collect era coins like Double Dugs or just main? You know, Quarantine, I'm looking for weight. Where silver and gold are going and what I think the use case is going to be, I don't think premiums on that type of stuff is going to matter much anymore. So I stack purely for weight. Now, if I find an error coin or I can get an error coin for cheap and flip it to get more just actual weight, I will do that 100%. But I'm not a collector in, a, in that sense. Highlander saying, pound that like button. Thank you, Highlander. It helps my channel immensely when you guys smash that like button. I'm trying to come down here and get all these questions. A bunch of people joining. Martin Harris, what's the cheapest Morgan you've bought lately? Um, the last Morgan I bought... Was it with Highlander? I think the last Morgan I got, the cheapest, was around $16. Something like this. It was epic. But I have not bought one lately. Um, yeah. But there's some good deals on Facebook, guys. I've been creeping Facebook groups lately. Gen Z Stacker saying, what tips do you recommend for a stacker new to the YouTube community making videos? All right. The first thing I recommend you do is, one, um... Tips for a stacker new to the YouTube. So I'm assuming you're not a new stacker. If you're a new stacker, watch my Type 5 Mistakes video and watch my Silver Stacking University playlist. Now, if you're a veteran, but you're new to YouTube, be careful. Be careful on your anonymity. Um, be careful on um, 
a lot of different things. Security, never send your mailing address to anyone, stuff like that. Get a P.O. box. You got to get a P.O. box. Now, here's what I'll tell you. Getting P.O. boxes, there's a lot that will make you use your real name, but there's also some that you can use a fake name like International Stacker, Gen Z Stacker, find one of those. And then finally, I put out a video on YouTube security. It was called a hack, a uh, silver stacker got hacked video. Make sure to watch that because I go in depth over how to protect yourself uh, with your uh, YouTube channel. And then finally, look at my description. I have a disclaimer. I have rules for gauze, all these different things. Just copy and paste stuff like that. Edit it for yourself. Put it in your description so you're protected from YouTube and the community guidelines. Silver and AU, when will you go to Germania Mint? Soon, my friend. We're still ironing it down, but I think the next two months. Rich Gump, is an IS fly along in my future? Wait, is an IS fly along in my future? Maybe Rich Gump, jump on board that plane. Uh, they're both used. Oh, okay, thanks, Uber. Steve, AKA Cyclops Dex, Steve Rice. The Germania Mint is in Poland. What's wrong with the picture? Um, remember, it's the Germania Mint. Germania included Germany and a bunch of other countries and was named by, um, <clears throat> it was uh, named by, um, was it Caesar? It was named by a Roman emperor. And I believe the root word of Germania had to do with the name of the spear that the, um, um, uh, the uh, what were they called? The, not the savages. The barbarians were using at the time. So Poland, in essence, was a part of Germania back in the day. Uh, top five images, Johnny Kilo. I like the guy with the glasses. I like the crying images. So like, I like to use images. And you guys, I use images a lot in my response to all your comments because you guys took the time to comment to me. So I re literally respond to every comment, which that's over 170,000 comments I've replied to. So a lot of times I'll use images so I can answer quickly, get my point across, and then have time to address. Sometimes I spend two, three hours going through comments. So that's why I use images a lot. And plus they're fun. Michael, have you seen the new ASC design? Yeah, I, I mean, I glanced at it shortly, Michael, on a quick video that I was doing something else. I wasn't happy with the design, but I got to look deeper before I actually make an assessment. But at the first thing, I didn't like that. Oliver, why didn't they just hand the ball to Marshawn Lynch? I don't know. Uh, yellow brick bullion. I traded 90 ounces of silver today for 1.1 ounces of gold. What is a good range for silver and gold? Um, <clears throat> yellow brick, I'm planning to trade my silver in for gold, but I'm not going to do that now. We're at a historic high for the silver to gold ratio, which means how many ounces of silver for one ounce of gold. I plan to do that when it closes more. I hope it gets to 30 or 40 uh, silver to one for gold. Then I'll shift my silver over at that one time and I'll at that time and I'll end up with double the gold I would have if I bought it outright. I hope that makes sense. Harvey saying, I ah, yes, what's up? What's up, Harvey Green? British half crown. What is, yep. Thanks, Silverado. Uh <clears throat> I picked up a five yuan coin. Nice. Brass junkie, where are you going to get stickers made? I man, this beer flu jacked me up. Guys, I'm 90 days, almost 100 days behind on everything. I have something better than stickers coming, guys. I have IS Challenge coins. That's going to be epic. Busy Bee Company, what's the highest premium coin you've made? Um, well, made, I would say I bought. And I bought um, the reverse proof, the re reverse enhanced proof that I alerted you all to for, I believe, um, $70, including shipping. And I sold it for a thousand or eight hundred, something like that. So that was a pretty good run. Uh, thanks, Ben. Uber. I'm trying to catch up. I'm so behind on comments. So behind on comments. Uh, okay. Salamax, did you hear about the coin shortage? Which coin short? Well, there is a shortage in the physical market. That's why premiums are through the roof. Java, I can't tell you the Facebook groups I'm in. Otherwise, I'd blow my secret, my security. But I'm in some good ones. Isaac, I love your videos. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Silverado, Poland as a country. Super exciting. I hope so. Kevin Lee, first time hearing emojis pronounced like that. Oh, some people say emojis. Some people say emojis. Uh, Blade Fanatic, do you have a favorite size type of coin bar around? You know, no. 
Um, but for bars, for kilo sizing up is really cool to hold. I mean, it's a cool experience. But no, I just go for the best deal. Um, and if I can get fractional, actually, for cheaper, I'll get fractional because usually fractional silver, silver carries more of a premium. Thanks again, Silverado, for that super chat. That was awesome, my friend. Uh, no, Silverado, if you need any tips, let me know. I will try to guide you in the right direction. Which part of Poland are you going to? Um, I'll let you know, Silverado, when it gets all ironed out. But it's a very small city. Mah Mahad is saying, what's up, Ias? What's up, man? Do you like Gladiator movies? Yeah, sure. I love Gladiator movies. You guys, we got 55 people and 45 likes. Smash that like button. If you want to ask me any question, put it in the chat below. Put three question marks before it so it sticks out to me. I will literally answer any question about silver, gold, my travels, the world, my work, my love life, my favorite food, my favorite color, uh, anything you want to know. Ask me anything. Okay. One, quarter ounce gold, Queen's Beast, Red Dragon. That's awesome. I love Queen's Bees. Johnny's saying, what is your favorite bar you own? Um, probably a one that Bunker Bullion poured me. He's also known as Hi-Ho Silver. It's a 20-ouncer. It's called a Bunker Buster. I have it in my last two full stack videos. You can check it out. Maybe I'll do a video when I get back to my stack. Jay Wood, one-tenth ounce gold coins haven't been produced in three months now. Wow, Jay. Thanks for the info. I was unaware of that. Greg, yes, I was told today that there's a coin shortage. Bank can't get coins? What? So you're telling me we can't coin roll hunt anymore? This is a freaking disaster. Uh, <clears throat> you like will like 20 answers. Busy B. Paid 21 for an 88 ES ASE today. Ooh, that's good. 86. $21 for that. That's good. Good deal. That's under what a lot are going for right now. Stacking, what's your end game exit strategy? At what price spot will you sell a large percent? So my strategy is to stack until I die and pass it on as a legacy if I fail at life and have no money to retire on it. However, if an opportunity presents itself between now and then, I will definitely capitalize. So I wouldn't consider selling silver until it got close to 50. And that wouldn't be to exit out of it. That would be to sell it save the fiat currency, the paper currency, wait for a dip and rebuy in. But if it goes to 50, that doesn't mean I'm automatically going to sell then. I'm going to look at the situation, assess it, and think if I think it's going to go higher or not. But the key here, guys, is everything moves up and down. And even when things are moving up, it's like this. So if, you're, if you can time it right, which is not easy to do, you can capitalize on that. I already did. Stack and silver saying, oh, here I read that. <clears throat> Muhammad saying, smash that. Lika, what's your favorite body of water? Lika D asking my favorite body of water. Um, <clears throat> that is a great question. And I think my answer would be... Um, I guess the Atlantic Ocean, because you have a lot of pirate shipwrecks out or, around the Antilles and Bahamas and... Um, all those island chains out there in Cuba. So if I want to go find treasure, that's going to be the best place to find it. Ozzy Bob is saying, I lost it. Do you own any Silver Shield coins? I do not own any Silver Shield. I almost got a few pieces a few times, but I always found better deals. And the Silver Shield comes in boxes and nice cases. And I don't like to buy coins that come in huge boxes because of storage issues. So I just elected to buy tubes of ASCs instead for easier storage. Will I buy Silver Shield if I get a good deal on it? 100%, but I just never got around to it. Ginger or Mary Ann? Um, it's been a while since I've seen Gary Gilligan's Island, but I'd say I'm more of a Mar Mary Ann type of guy. At Evil, I'm in the process of making my first silicone mold to make a casting. Hope it turns out well. At well. Wow, super cool, Ed. Cheryl, I'm hearing that about banks too. Wow, I've got to look into this coin shortage. Is there a coin shortage? Are you affected? Please call the law officers of in law offices of International Stacker to file a complaint. We got 72 people, 58 likes. Smash that like button. If you want to ask me a question, put three question marks in chat. You can ask me anything. Let's keep going. Uh, the banks told that to Greg too. Wow, I got to. Okay, this is not good, guys. Our banks are the the supplies running low. That's not good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is not a drill. Short coin shortage alert. Okay. Gabby Mark. 
What you think about pre-33 gold? I freaking love it. What you stack of the most? $5, uh, $5 ones are my go-to. I love pre-33 gold. A lot of times you can get great deals on pre-33 gold. Um, I like the ones with the Indian uh, design on them. Uh, those are probably my favorite, but I'll take any pre-33 gold. Um, but yeah, it's the, is it, is it the two and a half piece one with the Indian head on it? Is that the one I'm talking about? I think that's my favorite. I could be misquoting it. Sean CC, when do you think silver will reach 50? I don't know, my friend. For silver to reach 50, we've got to be like deep in the economic issues. And I know right now that Trump and the current administration is fighting to keep this market afloat to get through this election. So I also know there's other forces trying to collapse it to make him not get reelected. I'll say it's closer today than it was yesterday and to keep on stacking, to stay persistent and we'll get there eventually. I don't want to put a date on it, but I feel like it's not far away. I feel like it's at least like if I had to guess, I'd say the next year, but I mean, it could be in the next two years, three years, five years, but it's in our near future. I hope I, I hope it, I hope we have more time. I want more time to stack. I'm not ready for it to get to 50 yet. This guy's skipping my question. Prepping metals. What did you ask? What did you ask, prepping? I'm scrolling back up. Prepping metals. I'm looking for your question. I do not see your question. Prepping metals. Can you repost it? Yeah, I didn't. Okay, I scrolled up. Prepping metals. I didn't see it. Please copy and paste it. I promise I'll read it. Okay. Scrolling back down, uh, Stamos, uh, do you plan on making a video with the coin with coin guy? You mean the coin guy on YouTube or any coin guy? The coin guy on YouTube. I mean, I guess if the opportunity presented itself, I would. Uh, Youper, uh, the only way I would get rid of my silver is to trade it for a farm or a ranch. That's a great idea. And guess what? You might be able to. If silver's hitting 50, that means the market's probably crashing, which means there's distressed properties, which means banks are short selling. So that's the time you cash in your gold and silver and buy other money making assets when there's blood on the streets and there are pennies of the dollar. So that's my approach. Brass Junkie or asses, ASCs, whether, oh wait, whether it went to 50 because the dollar is on his death. Yeah, exactly what I was just talking about. You, you got it right there, Brass Junkies. <clears throat> oh, Cheryl's saying thank, congrats on hitting 15,000 guest subs. You guys, we did it together. We hit 15,000 subscribers. I've taken you guys on journeys to the Middle East, to Saudi Arabia, to Egypt, to Africa, Ivory Coast. We've been to Dubai. We've been to Europe together. We've been to Ireland. We've been all over the United States. And now we're at 15,000. Thank you so much. And guess what? 84% of you watching do not subscribe to my channel. So smash that like button, subscribe, so you can join me in my adventures. And sometimes I even give some of this stuff away. Mega, 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 mega. Okay. Um, oh, man. I lost my place. Okay. Uh, old man Jenkins, like the name, is saying, <clears throat> do you stack obverse or reverse side down? Uh, it doesn't really matter. I get them all the same way and then just put them in a tube. So it, I have no preference other than that. I like them to be the same way, though. Florida Gold Coast, you got it, Johnny. Scott Jarvis saying, hello, international stacker. Hello, four nines. I'm on the Gold Coast, Australia. You guys, I really want to go to Australia. I'm thinking after Poland, we do an Australia trip. Do you approve of Australia? If so, press three. If you don't, tell me where I should go after Poland. Johnny, opinions on Hong Kong security bill. I have not seen that, Johnny. I'm going to have to look in that. What is that, like a... Is it like a Hong Kong gold back? Is that what we got going on there? Charles P., have you ever had a, any package miss in the mail? Yes, Charles. From Provident Metals, I had a package about $1,000. that had a kilo bar in there for Atlantis Mint and a bunch of other stuff. It left, it got checked in, left the warehouse, and disappeared, tracking everything. So all I had to do was wait for, I believe it was 21 days, Provident Metals said, we can fulfill your order or refund you. Spot price had dropped at that point, about 40 cents. They said, oh, you can refund me. They refunded me that I made a new order at the new spot price. I know, I'm a little gypsy. But that was epic. Uh, uh, busy bees, regulation, not silver. Uh, oh, regular coins, not silver. Okay. 
half dollar. I miss coin shows. I miss them too. And guess what? I'm planning to take us to one in the near future. Uh, my 28 U.S. silver has been short due to the beer flu. Stacking silver, 100 ounce bars, good silver to, to buy, sell, or not. Nah. Look, if you have a smaller stack, I would say focus on smaller denominations like ASEs, Constitutional, also called junk silver, 90% silver, because it's easier to move and eat. it's really quick to sell. If you have a larger stack, by all means, I love 100 ounce bars. They're still not hard to sell. You can sell them. You just got to find the right buyer. And it's a lot of silver in a small space. So I do like 100 ounce bars. I have several of them. But if you do, if you're, if you're not, if you don't have at least a thousand ounces in your stack, I would say stick to smaller denominations. Steve Rice saying, bro fisting brass. Lika, I found myself going mega, mega, mega at work last week. I blame you. That's funny, Lika. That's funny. Silver Husky saying, hey, IS. Hey, Silver Husky. You guys, check out Silver Husky's channel. He has a great uh, channel and not that many subscribers. Show him some love. Charles P., any missing packages? I already just answered that. Uh, I think you might have heard that. Mine too. Did you get my package? Silver Husky, I'm sure I did. I need to get it. the next batch of my packages sent to me. I have someone scooping my P.O. box for me and sending them to me. Um, just because I'm on the other side of the U.S. right now, and it wasn't planned. I've been here in the East Coast for over 100 days now. Isn't that, it's, time flies. But thank you for sending it, Silver Husky, and your video should be coming soon. Busy Bee Company, 100 ounce, not great. Got a local dude trading 100 ounce. Dude, Busy Bee, if he's trading 100 ounce bars for junk, oh, wait, dude, trading 100 ounce bars for junk. If he's trying to get rid of 100 ounce bars, link him up with me, internationalstacker.gmail.com. I'll, I'll, I'll buy him at junk prices all day long. You guys, do not sell your coins or silver or bars at a local coin shop or a pawn shop. You're going to get jacked every time. If you're online, you'll have no problem moving 100 ounce bars. But if he's trying to offload them, let me know. Okay, we've got an Arabic name here. Let me read this. It's Messen or... Messen or sa e Dari Rodi. I can't tell the wait. Let me scroll on my phone. Cause it's on the TV and the TV's blurry. Let me read this Arabic for you and impress you. One second, one second. How far behind am I on this? I'm a little bit far behind. It's okay, we'll catch it. We'll catch it. For those of you just joining this, ask me anything, you can ask me any question. Just three, put three question marks uh, in front of your question so it jumps out to me, and I will answer it as truthfully as possible, and it can be anything. I cannot find the Arabic name on my phone. It's blurry, but it looks like it's Meme Hasin Un Masun. Masun? Masun? Ara? So, I don't know. Four nines. Have you ever seen uh, my kookaburra pour on my latest video yet? No, four nines. I got to check that out. So I'm going to do that. Stubbers99 is saying, and I lost Stubbers. Stubber99, hey, IS, do you buy silver stocks? I do not. If you do, how do you do it? No, 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 no. No, Stubbers. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. That is just paper, totally manipulated. And guess who's going to get screwed if and when the market has a major correction? The small people playing the stock market, everyday Americans, big business, everyone else, bankers are going to make their money no matter what. Stay out of it. That's my advice. But I am not a stockbroker or financial advisor. Please see my disclaimer in the description below. Blade Fanatic, would you ha hint roughly how much silver is in your stack? Yeah, I have about uh, 6,100 ounces, I believe now. 6,100 ounces of silver. Stamos, Coin Guy, the shop owner. Okay, yeah, I need to I need to run into him one of these days. I haven't. I don't have no plans to, but maybe I will. Victor, is platinum a good investment? I've had that question a couple times. I stay away from platinum and palladium. I don't know enough about them. I'm stacking and focusing on gold and silver, guys. Once I get happy with gold and silver, maybe I'll dabble a little in platinum or palladium. Or if I get a crazy offer and I think I can flip it, I will. Guess what? I bought palladium before. I bought the uh, palladium um, proof, and I flipped it and made about a thousand bucks on it. So I have actually bought palladium, but I had it in my hands for like one, one day before I shipped it out. Genome, if you could have 
anyone, gold or silver. Also, would you rather have fraction or gold or not? Uh, if you're getting gold, I'd rather have fractional gold if you can get it at the same price or, or cheaper than a, than a full ounce because fractional gold has a higher premium so you can make more money on it in the end. Um, so I'd rather have fractional gold if it's gold. And right now, if you could have only one gold or silver, what would you pick? If they were the same price point comparatively... I don't know, man. Like, my goal is to convert a lot of my silver into gold because gold's the ultimate hedge against inflation. But I like a lot of the use cases with silver. Silver's more volatile, and I think there's bigger opportunities to generate cash with silver. So that's a hard one. I, I don't know if I can answer that. Old Man Jenkins, do you keep a pocket coin? I do not. I hate things in my pockets. I can't even keep my wallet in my pocket. I know it's bad, but no. Set up an account with your bank, Stubber, says Jay War. Great advice. Your channel's awesome, man. 15K is just the start, says Silver Husky. What do you guys think? How long is it going to take me to break 20K? That was my ultimate goal. Chris is saying West Africa is cool. You per saying Old Man Jenkins, I do. 15,000 subs, celebration for four nines. Thank you. Martin Harris is saying, what country that you've been to is the sketchiest? Uh, West Africa. Ivory, Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire was the sketchiest. But I've been all over the Middle East. I've been to sketchy situations, but I'm able to blend in the Middle East. Was not able to in West Africa. So that's what made it so much sketchier. Silver Husky, IS, did you get my package in the P.O. box? Uh, I'm sure it arrived, Silver Husky. And I'll let you know soon. There should be a video coming soon. When did you send it, Silver Husky? Oh, we got people pounding the threes. Okay. Okay, they like that. Jay Ward, we need to get you... Oh, okay, so they think I should go to Australia. Okay. Jay Ward, we need to get you to 100K subs. That would be sick, guys. I really want that silver play button. And I already have it planned. Eventually, when I get to my silver play, I'm going to get a real silver play replica as well. Can I go? Maybe. Switzerland, that'd be fine, fine old man. Steve Rice is saying Tennessee. After Poland, go to Greece. Ooh, that'd be fun. Gen Z, is it fine if I hold... My Scottsdale silver bar, and 10 ounce bars in my hand. I mean, yeah, it's going to, they're if they're not going to be shiny anymore. They're going to tarnish wherever you touch it. But you can always clean it. Um, but with my Scottsdale, I just wear gloves to keep it as shiny as possible. A lot of people say bullion, like ASCs and stuff, you can touch with your hands. But my goal is to sell this stuff, guys, so I keep it as shiny as possible. Um, so I always wear gloves and if it's a silver that can tarnish. But if it's like 90% or poured silver, I don't care uh silver headed to 1850 again no 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 i want it lower okay well for as well south korea to find mrs international stacker on young this little korean comes to hamida let's thank you in korean java man coin shows i'd settle for my lcs is open they're coming four nines could you please tell everyone in the chat about mike you guys go check out four nines kookaburra's poor video i mean i haven't even seen it but maybe uh, maybe we can pop it up here and go. I'm gonna put it here to remember. We're gonna go to that video in a little bit here. Stamos, do you watch Speggy? I do watch Spectacular. He's great, Stamos. But honestly, I have I've been working this disaster for so long. I don't have that much free time, so most of my free time is spent making videos for you. But I have hopped around in different people's live streams and videos lately and caught glimpses. But it's hard for me to stay dedicated. Warp speed, I'm so poor, I have to stack copper. Hey, you're stacking something, warp speed, that's awesome. And it says you're working up to silver. I do alerts for free silver giveaways. So make sure you hit the bell, because that could be your chance to win your first silver. Someone else in my stream just won silver the other day in ASC. First silver coin he's ever owned. He lives in Ireland. Jay Ward's talking to Stubbers. I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying to catch up on the I'm trying to catch up on the comments. Uh, Silver Soul saying, hey, what's up, man? Anyang Haseo. Paul D., my wife made me take down my silver videos. Why is that, Paul? Was it for security reasons? Was she nervous? What's the deal? I can tell you how to do it safely if that was the deal. Not junk prices. 100K bar for 92 dot face junk. So let's see here. Let me... 92... 
Yeah, okay. Huh. 100 ounce bar for $92. So 92 junk is going for like 14. Divide that by 100. Dude, that can't be. $92 face for 100 ounce bar. That would be only $12.88 an ounce. If he's doing that, freaking get all the 100 ounce bars you can. Or maybe don't. Maybe they're fake 100 ounce bars with a tungsten core. But if that's the truth, that's crazy. Abraham Hanna in the UK, you only have a small amount of silver. I stick with gold. Well, in the UK, it makes sense to stick with gold because he's talking about the VAT tax guys, value added tax. In the UK, you get hit with 20% tax on silver and you don't own gold. So in the UK, it makes sense to stack mostly gold. Uh, <clears throat> any tips on Britannias or Sovereigns? Stack them to this guy and get them for as cheap as possible. That's my advice. I let the deals dictate my buy. So if you can do that, that would be great. Hawaii, ask you anything? Where do babies come from? Well, Hawaii, AG, what you got to do is you got to climb Mount Kilauea. You have to have a piece of silver. It has to be 925 or better. Throw it in. And then within three months... Um, a baby will arrive at your house. Or you can go to a bar, get blackout drunk, and then you'll have a baby probably in nine months. Either one I heard works. But I'm not a baby advisor. <laughs> Warp speed. Fractional gold is easier to sell. Oh, by all means, because there's more buyers, right? <clears throat> um, and then he's saying, JK, aloha, yes, aloha. Uh, Paul D, my silver buys 15 through 19. It won't pay over 20 buying gold. Okay, well, keep pushing on with those. International stacker, what is the best way to go and talk to a woman? Stamos, you just got to be, like, um, confident and funny. Be confident, make her laugh. It goes a long way. But who am I to talk? I'm still searching for Mrs. International stacker. Uh, hashtag alone forever. Okay. Jay Wars talking to Stubbers. Perfect. Okay. Is it a bad idea to invest in silver now with the spot price being 1810 or should I wait? Look, the key to stacking guys is consistency and continually adding. If you continually add and only buy the deals, it, the price is going to level itself out. If you can get silver below $20, and I've said this for the last three years, I believe silver at $20 or below is a great price. Okay. Uh, 100K subs, please. I know. Abra, Abram is saying, no, nah, I never get my gold, keep my gold at home. There's many ways to do it. I actually have a video on security and safety. MCM never came through for me on a 100 ounce bar for 1460. It's like they borrow the money for two months from me for two months. Silver Soul, do you think that it's, if there's ultimately a, a global reserve currency reset, that we could potentially go to a digital back currency by gold and silver. Look, I'll tell you, the bankers and all the people do not want a backed currency by a commodity because they want to be able to print it into oblivion like you're seeing now. So if the same people are in charge of it now are in charge, no. If you get people in there like Andrew Jackson or somebody who's a constitutionalist and is backed by it, that would be awesome. But then you can't borrow from the future. Um, if it's backed, truly backed, but it might, it just might, it might be like one gold coin is rehypothecated into 10,000 ounces. I guess that's a possibility, but I do know governments want a digital currency so they can track every single cell because then they can get the most tax out of you. That's not fun. Bank told me there's a coin low with mints just reopening. Dang memory. That's crazy. Cheryl, cheeseburgers or hot dogs? Cheeseburgers all the way. Hot dog, if it's a bratwurst with um, sauerkraut. Truck and prepper, uh, would you sell your silver if it hits 50 this year? Truck and I may. If it hits 50, I'm going to assess it and see where I think it's going. Um, if I think it's topping, by all means, I'll sell probably 1,000 ounces, maybe 2,000 ounces. Get the cash put to the side, wait for a dip or you buy in. That's what I'm all about. Pot of jam is in the house. For those of you just joining, you put three question marks in front of your question, I'll answer them. I will answer anything. we got 84 people, 91 likes. Can we smash a like and get to 100? Let me try it. Let me try it. Come on. Come on. Okay. Well, that was one. I heard if I tap this like five times. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yep. One more. Oh. Yep. 
Oh, so close. Okay. All is one. Oh, we did it. All is, there was, must have been lagging. All is one now is asking, do you own a pew pew? Because I dare not say the G word on, <laughs> on YouTube. And have you ever shot one? I have shot many, many of them, my friend, and I do own them. I'm really big on the Second Amendment. And with the types of jobs I do, sometimes I have one or I have people around me with them to protect protect um, the projects I'm working on. So I'm a big believer in it. Pot of Jam saying hey to everybody. Hawaiian, okay. Oh, 99 euros. We got pounds earlier. We just got some euros, guys. We're doing every currency tonight from Stamos Games. Thank you so much, my friend. A big shout to Stamos Games. Um, and a big shout out earlier for Silverado for those two super chats. Both of you guys are awesome. Um, old man Jenkins saying heads or tails. I'm going to go with tails. Please flip a coin and let me know if I won. Four nines IS. The best view of a kookaburra is the last 20 seconds of the video. Okay, let's go. Let's go to his video real quick. Oh, look at this. And I'm not even subscribed. What a gypsy. All right. I subscribe. That is a nice kookaburra, my friend. Great job on that pour, man. I'm liking it. Did you sand cast that? Let's see here. Oh my, oh, okay. Great video. Shouting you out live. Could you guys see the kookaburra or did I not have it in the screen? Okay, I had, that's the kookaburra. Okay, going back to the questions. Pot of Jam is saying, your favorite country um, apart from America, your home country, yours would be Germany for sure. Man, that's a hard question, um, pot of jam, uh, because I have favorite qu countries everywhere. I loved Japan. I loved Brazil. I loved uh, Spain. I loved Egypt. It's too hard to pick one, but I, those are my favorites in those regions for sure. Andrew saying hi. Wow, did he? Wait. Stamos hit me with the second super chat, this time for one euro. Thank you so much, Stamos. You are a man, myth, and a legend. Sean Hutch Hutchinson is saying, do you stack for profit or fun or both? I stack purely for profit. I am like Scrooge McDuck. I want to swim in a swimming pool full of my coins. I'm trying to build an empire. If this was back in the day, I'd be building my own army. But doing that is fun for me. So I would say for both. But I'm trying to build an empire, guys. I'm trying to build a legacy. Uh, Oliver the cat saying, why didn't they just hand the ball to Marshall Lynch or, or Marshawn Lynch? I don't know what that's from. I'm guessing it's, it's like a football game or something, but why didn't they just hand the ball to him? Memory saying AG is necessary for all electronics. hundred percent. Not going anywhere. Just like gold for millennials. I agree with you. Best conductor of electricity. All is one is saying, okay, did the, I did give some silver away when I first started YouTube. That's awesome, all is one. Goes around, comes around. Cactus Jack Swag saying, do you have to turn in any coins that have pictures of Lincoln on them? Or is it just his statue that needs to be destroyed? I know, that's horrible. I'm told, you guys, I've said this before. Now, about three weeks ago, I said I'm against pulling down any statue. Even if it's Confederates. And, like, my family was from the Union side of things back in the day, okay? Um... But when you destroy history, history is repeated. And people said it's not going to end with Confederate generals. And what have we seen lately? Uh, yesterday they tried to rip down Andrew Jackson from the White House. A couple Washington uh, were toppled. They're trying to remove Teddy Roosevelt. It's crazy, guys. This is history. Whether you like the person or not, or whether they did good things or bad things, it needs to be preserved so our next generations can learn from it so they don't repeat it. Oh, it's, it just irks me. Be careful with that black shirt. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, very reflective. Thank you. Well, I have my shirt off, so maybe you guys got a free show. Just flipped my newer Libertad and landed on Tills. Yes, I hit it. Mikey saying, any luster, Mikey? So for those of you guys who don't know, I hate the word luster. But yes, a lot of my coins have plenty of luster. Oh, don't make me say luster. Memory, Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Oh, that is a song. I think I heard that. <laughs> oh, and someone said yes. He has no shirt on. Oh, jeez. Did you guys? Did you guys see everything? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yes, he has no shirt on. Mikey saying, "Hey, Silver Streak." 
<laughs> so that's the question. Do you sometimes stream with no shirt on? Yeah, hashtag right now. But I mean, it's no different than if I'm not if I'm at the beach. Just pretend we're on the beach right now, guys. <clears throat> Watch your videos. Got great reflection of you in the monitor. Oh, great, great. Um, Silver Streak. Good, bro. Been chillaxing. Okay. Local coin dealer wouldn't give us a deal on silver when it fell. Ugh. So coin dealers aren't going to give you deals on coins when it falls. Uh, you need to get the deals on uh, private buys, places like Facebook, apps. People just need to sell it. That's how you get the deals when it goes low. When it goes high, there will be a spread like you're seeing now, and they'll try to pay under for sure. But it is what it is. It's the name of the game. Just do the best you can. <clears throat> Everyone, when you send something to IS, put a card in it. Look at the luster. That's funny. Pot of jam. You probably have to blow up paddling pool full of corn. Oh, I know, huh? Spaghetti and meatballs or steak and a baked potato? Steak and a baked potato, hands down. Stamos hitting me with another one euro super chat. Thank you so much, my friend. Now I guess I got to be careful. Okay, let's see how reflective this is. I don't see, I don't see myself. It must have been reflective, though. Must have been reflective. Thank you, Stamos. You are a man myth and a legend. If you want to ask me a question, please put the three question marks in front of it, and I'll know you're asking me a question. Uh, we've got 95 people, 108 likes, so please uh, hit that like button. Uh, 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 and let's keep going. Sean Hutchinson saying, if it's for profit, why commodities over equities, which have higher expected returns? So... I do physical commodities, physical gold and silver. I don't mess with anything else. So 100%, um, I do it because if you don't hold it, you don't own it. If there's a market issue or collapse, none of that paper stuff locked up in the market is going to matter at that point. You're going to be locked in. Things are going to be shut down. Whereas this, you're going to have it with you. You're good. Also announcing rewriting history. I know it's sickening. Um, do you stack everything silver like T, you know, not really Aztec gold, but if I get a deal on nine, two, five silver or up, I will buy it. If it's anything, I'll buy it. If I get a deal on it. Uh, let's see here. Stack and silver saying, sell my NGC graded, uh, 6920 ERP ASC or hold them long term. Um, stack and silver, not a financial advisor, but if I was you, I'd get rid of it. And I would convert anything with a high numismatic value into lower premium silver for weight. That's my advice. So maybe sell that one ASC and see how many normal ASCs you can turn it into. That's 100% what I would do. Archaeology, I won my first one ounce, half ounce silver Australian great white shark coin from Coin Hunting Couple. I'll have to check them out. Great. Pot of jam saying nice nip slip. Did you guys see my nips? Oh my gosh. This video is getting banned. I know you had a shirt off. It showed clearly. That's funny. Well, what if I was wearing a shirt that of a picture of my chest, but it was really an image on the shirt? Oh, what do you think about that? Why do you hate the word Lester? I don't know, Read It Edge. I just hate it. I don't know why. At least he had on pants. <laughs> Can we get another miss slip? That's funny. Pot of jam. Uh, that's when I switched to a blank screen. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm sure it's great. <laughs> Some say there's caramel corn inside the Lincoln Monument. I've heard that. Elaine saying, hey, I asked, just joined the chat. Just got home from work. Welcome home from work. If you have a question, this is you can ask me anything. And evidently, I already showed off part of my body. So I guess it's literally anything. I uh, just put three question marks. I'll try to answer it. And I probably got five more minutes in this stream. So now I'm going to go away from reading the questions just to live chat. So let's just start throwing things up here. Okay, Jared, how much should I pay for face of Barber Dimes? Jared, if you can get Barber Dimes for $15 per dollar face or less, it's great. I just literally the other day paid $20 face for some just because I really wanted them. Um, but for Barbers, if you can get them around $15, that's the Insta buy right now, even $16. So that's what I would say with that. Um, I answered your question a few days ago. Thanks for responding. Oh, awesome, Lone William. Uh, what's a good rate for Morgan and Peace Culls right now? Do not buy Culls, Adam. 
I was the other, uh, not long ago with Highlander stacking, buying great quality Morgans for $16 a piece. Buying Kohl's was my biggest mistake ever. But even Kohl's right now are like 20 bucks. But if you go on private apps, Facebook, you can get them for cheaper. But it's going to be hard right now. You got to wait for this market to calm down a little bit before you're going to get a good deal on a lot of this stuff again. Gen Z is saying, know any young stackers I can do collaborations with? Yeah, there's several young stackers. Um, Johnny, who's in a lot of my streams, is a young stacker. Uh, there's a one that's called Little Stacker. His name is like Andrew something. Uh, there's a, there's several young stackers in my stream, so hopefully you can run into them and I'll link you up. Uh, you got one barber dime. You only like the reverse. <laughs> that's, that's nice. It's a silver flash mob. Oh my gosh, party. Uh, Bradley's Coins, me. I'm a young stacker. Oh, Bradley's Coins is a young stacker. Old Jenkins is 29. Are you young? No, you're an old man. Jay Ward, you're 30. You're your old man too. MK, all about them silver Krugerrands. And those are new guys. It was a gold Krugerrands forever, so the silver's new. MK, collectible cards in the house. What is up? Aleem is saying, Morgan's and junk. My silver stack is getting heavy to handle. Yeah. Yeah, I nearly blew out my back once. Stamos is 16. Jared is 19. 33. I'm older than all those ages, guys. I'm in my mid thirties, mid thirties. Awesome. I'm gonna sub. I'm gonna sub. Okay, yeah, you guys collect connect. That's awesome. Free goals are good coals from the bank. Yeah, I'll take. I'll take free coals all day long for sure. Ag chopsticks in the house, you guys. Ag chopsticks is the most underrated channel on YouTube. Check him out. He literally has silver chopsticks, and he is one of the few stackers I've met overseas. I met AG Chopsticks for the first time in Saudi Arabia. So please go sub him up. He's a man myth and a legend. And he has a video on his channel where he actually finds Bigfoot. And he has a real video of the Loch Ness Monster. None of that's true. It's total clickbait. But I'm just trying to get you over there. <laughs> okay. Mikey saying, in our stacker, I found a rare 1899 Morgan. MS62, you got it for $40. If I sell it, $5,000 to $10,000? Wow, Mikey. Um, that's awesome. I don't know if it would actually go for that price. I'd have to look into it more. Just don't get too excited. If you, you know, just really confirm it before you get too excited. But if I had a coin that would go for five dollars to $10,000, I would immediately sell it and flip it into more physical gold and silver. But that's awesome if you got that. Any silver storage tips? I actually have a video that shows me storing 5,000 ounces of silver, and I give all kinds of tips in that. So make sure you check it out. You guys, I have over 700 videos, and probably the first 200 of my videos, I'm unboxing 100 ounces at a time, doing storage things, all these different things. And my, those videos have 20, 30, 100 views. It's crazy. So go check out a lot of the old content, and I think you'll love it and answer questions like that. But I literally have one showing how to store 5,000 ounces easily. It's just a little cube it takes up. 49. Oh, snap. IS and I are closed. Dang it, old man Jenkins. Let's see here. AG, MK. <laughs> AG saying clickbait at its finest. Yep. 13. Well done, lad. Keep it up. That's awesome you're 13. What's the name of those silver coins from Saudia? The Reals. Silver Reals. And also the Tallers, the Maria Ta uh, Taller, the Real Francia. Uh, let's see, I live in the land of Bigfoot. That's awesome warp speed. Yeah, premiums are crazy right now, but guess what? I got all this set spot. All this at spot with premiums is insane. You guys, there are still deals to be had. Get out there and find them. I don't want any excuses. I don't want any excuses. All of you should be able to go to LCS, go on Facebook, do some investigations and find silver at great prices. You can do it. I believe in you. And if you don't do it, you need to pay me $2,000. Just kidding. Okay, international. I'm grabbing the other 48 quarters from that guy. Good job, AG. Freaking, can you cut a brother in? I'm freaking over here on life support, bro. Can you cut me in on the action? Uh, Egyptians had slaves. They better not go for the pyramids of the Sphinx. I know. Gosh, don't get me started, Aztec. I'm 33, Zinc is saying, I'm 33, I wish I had all this passed uh, through my hands or years ago. It's, it's okay, you're in it now, my friend. Keep stacking to the sky, build your story, build your empire. 
As a matter of fact, I have a video coming soon on an empire. Would Okay, I want a serious question. If we were back in the old days and I rolled in with an army, would you join my empire and become a co-stacker of the stacking empire? Or would you be my enemy? Let's see. What's the one five ten year plan? Uh, Tim is to stack as much silver and gold as I possibly can without putting myself on the streets. Is there a Bigfoot coin? Oh, there's plenty of Bigfoot coins. I actually have a Canadian. I gave a Canadian maple leaf to a slow stacker, one of his first coins ever, and it had a Bigfoot privy on it. That was a pretty cool one. That's way too many videos, brah. I know, brah. AG, how about turning eight ACs into 20 ounces? That is a good deal, and that is mega. Mega, mega, mega. Silver Soul says, I like turtles. All right, guys, so I put a post in my community post saying, thank you all, we broke 15,000 subs, can we get to 20,000? And I put different polls. The last option for the poll was, I like turtles. I pick, put that because it's the funniest meme ever. Does anyone here know... Do you all know about the I Like Turtles meme, or do I need to show you? If you don't know, press six. This is the f this is the funniest meme ever. Let me get it queued up here. Let me get it ready. Okay, wait. I gotta make sure I'm not showing my nips off. Try not to get banned. All right. This is why I put that option. This kid has become a meme on the entire internet. At the waterfront village with my friend the zombie Jonathan. You're looking good, Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan. Awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. All right. <laughs> zombie. Good time to hear it. She's like, what do you think? And he's like, I like turtles. That's why I put that. <laughs> so funny. Anyways, guys, I just exported this video here. And I'm uploading it now. I'll probably premiere this tomorrow evening, so be on the lookout. I'm talking about the five top uh, types of silver to stack. So I hope you enjoy it. And we are at uh, getting a little bit late here. So I think I'm going to crash. I want you all to kindly smash that like. Please sanitize because the beer flu. Make sure you're subscribed. Only 84% 80, of people who watch my channel are not subscribed. Help me beat YouTube. You guys, I really want to get, I want to get to 20,000, but I really want to get to 100,000 to get that silver play button, but I know that's so far away. But can we do it? And Bullion Addict is saying long live the IS Empire. That's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please let me know once I end the stream in the video comments below. Do you like these AMAs? Do you want me to do more? Ask me anything, AMA. Let me know after I end the video in the comments below. Let's get this to 130 and we'll say Catch you on the next one. Thank you again, everyone. Woo! Oh, and final thing is Johnny Kilo saying, should I flip my Cole Morgans? I can buy at fifteen fifty. If you can flip them and make money, by all means, Johnny. But I wouldn't buy Cole Morgans a stack. And be very careful. Consider the payment fees and all that stuff. Don't get it over your head. Catch you on the next one. Make them.